This is the magnificent Chateau de Villandry, one of the last great Renaissance chateaux of my native region of the Loire Valley to be built in the 16th century. The highlight of Villandry is its ever-changing decorative organic kitchen garden. Henri Carvalho, whose family has owned the chateau since 1906, continues to enhance and expand what many consider to be one of the most beautiful gardens in the world. In the 16th century, when this chateau was built, you already had a kitchen garden here. The owner of the chateau was enjoying seeing all the new vegetables coming from America, straight from its windows. So it has to be decorative with flowers as well on box trees. We have usual vegetables like lettuces you see here, lentils, uh, spring cabbages at the moment. In the summer we'll have big cabbages, uh, decorative cabbages, uh, peppers, tomatoes, aubergines. Nearby, the old city of Tours, with its medieval centre, has an outstanding covered market with many dedicated food artisans. One of them, world champion cheese master Rodolphe Le Meunier, selects and matures some of the best cheeses of France and specializes in Loire Valley cheeses. In the Loire Valley, we are very lucky because uh, we have a different uh, kind of cheese, especially goat cheese in this area. All the big towns have this uh, special uh, cheese and special name. So, for example, in Pouligny Saint Pierre, you have the Pouligny Saint Pierre, Valencé in Morin Sousse. Here you have Saint Maur de Touraine. So, all uh, of these cheese have a different uh, taste. The land is different, so the grass and the food of the animal is different, and at the end, the milk is different, and the uh, taste is different also. One of the interesting specialties of the region that I love very much are the Rillon de Tour. They are chunks of pork cooked very slowly in the oven or in a pot until it is tender. And the Rillette de Tour, the soft preparation made of pork, cooked also very slowly like a confit. And it is very popular in bread as a sandwich. This gâteau has recently become one of the most fashionable cakes in the region of Tours. I first line a lift-out cake tin with a thin layer of short crust pastry. Then I spread the base with apricot jam and a layer of diced mixed comfy fruits. Next, I sift together 80 grams of sugar and 80 grams of almond meal. I beat together three egg whites and a pinch of cream of tartar into stiff peaks. Then gently fold in the sweet almond meal mixture. This preparation of beaten egg whites with almond meal and sugar, in French it's called a macaronade. I carefully spread this meringue-like preparation on top of the confit fruits and dust generously with icing sugar. It takes about 30 minutes to cook in the oven at 200 degrees. I wait until it's cold to slice it. This gâteau, Nougat de Tour, is magnificent. Tomorrow I visit the south of the Touraine and discover a small farm that makes wonderful goat cheeses.